What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the first day of hurricane season, and oh boy, how things have escalated. Over the last day or so, Invest 91L has organized at a very rapid pace, according to the National Hurricane Center. This is what we got right here as of the latest. Recent satellite wind data along with buoys uh, and ship observations indicate that the area of low pressure over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico has a broad but well-defined circulation with maximum sustained winds of around 35 miles per hour. Shower and thunderstorm activity associated with the low is also showing signs of organization. Environmental conditions remain marginally favorable for additional development, and if these trends continue, a short-lived tropical depression or storm is likely to form as soon as this afternoon the system is likely to meander over the western gulf of mexico through tonight but begin a slow motion towards uh, florida on friday this by this weekend environmental conditions are forecast to become unfavorable for additional development and as the storm continues to move southward remaining likely offshore of the gulf of mexico an air force reserve hurricane hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate the storm later this afternoon this is what we got right here we now have a 70 percent chance of development in the next 48 hours and seven days this morning it was at 50 percent and yesterday last night it was at 20 percent so over the last 12 hours this thing has really ramped up in organization and what's fueling this well i think it's quite easy to uh, to tell right here we're looking at global sea temperatures around 27 to 28 degrees celsius around 80 to 82 degrees fahrenheit for those of you who live in the united states so that's what we got fueling this thing and if we take a look at the ocean heat content it's in uh, around a general area of where it's around 2550 uh, ohc right there which isn't that uh, the best right there, but it's definitely making the best out of it. What's really weak and hampering this, though, is the wind shear. The wind shear, and honestly, I have to compliment the system. The wind shear around it's around 25 to 30 knots, but I'm still quite impressed with the fact that this thing is still developing as we're speaking right now. And it's even though it looks sheared like a sheep, as some people would put it, it's still organizing and it's showing quite a bit of life in this. So that's the situation we're looking at right here. And based on some uh, current observations, we're looking at winds of around 33 knots or about 38 miles per hour, according to what I've been looking at from my team on Storms United. And we're looking at gusts of 44 knots or around 50 miles per hour, ladies and gentlemen. So this thing is developing really quickly, and we'll have to continue to update you with that. But if you want to help us out, feel free to join the Storms United Discord server. Link is in the description down below. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and pull out for the first time this hurricane season, our model runs. We're going to be looking at the HMON and the HWARF today. If we take a look at the HMON, pressure is already at 1,005 millibars right here. Things can start to develop. The pressure starts lowering a little bit. The pressure actually gets down to 995 millibars right here. I want to go ahead and take a look at those 850 millibar heights and winds right there. So yeah, as you can see, I don't. As you can see, it's around. I'd say 50, 50, uh, 55 knots or so at 850, which could translate to maybe around 50, 50 miles per hour, maybe 55 miles per hour on the surface right there from 850, uh, from 850 because that's about 5,000 feet up. I'll, uh, we'll get more into that uh, that later right there. And then this thing continues to kind of meander into the, uh, into the southern gulf and start weakening as that wind shear really starts kicking up right there. Next thing we're going to take a look at is the H Wharf run. And the H Wharf run is also showing something quite interesting going into this right here. And we're going to go ahead and show you the radar and mean sea level pressure right here. This is what we got going into this. We're looking down to 995 millibars from the last time I looked. 996, actually. This is the 12, latest from the 12Z, 996. And this looks quite well organized on radar according to the, what the H Wharf is suggesting. 850 millibar heights and winds. Yeah, I can see this peaking around 40, 50 miles per hour or so, but really, if this even if, if this thing gets a, a, up to over 60 right there, I would be pleasantly surprised, and considering how well this thing is organizing and how quickly it's doing it, I wouldn't be surprised if it got to that point. 
But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you want to help us out getting more data on this potential invest in tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico, feel free to join Storms United. Once again, the link is in the description down below or it'll be in the end screen right over there. It would be much appreciated. It would, any help is really good for us and we will continue to update you as time continues to progress with this as this has been organizing once again quite quickly but with that being said have a wonderful day guys stay safe